Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to What Up, Clegg? This is a channel we talk about all kinds of different projects, how to fix it, how to maintain it, how to clean it, how to build it, uh, product reviews, comparisons, FYIs, uh, any type of topic that comes across my desk. Today we're going to talk about battery connectors for RC cars, the more popular ones for racing. The more popular ones are going to be the bullet style connectors that you see here. <clears throat> you have these the T style connectors. These were popular way back in the day, but now batteries take the racing batteries at least now take the bullet style. A lot easier, a lot more convenient. You don't have the wires hanging out. It's a lot cleaner. I like it. I like it better. The uh, the difference between the bullet styles. We'll we'll talk about bullet style first. Put these aside. So the bullet style. There's a couple of different bullet styles. So you have the uh, the banana plug they call. This has a collar on it. If you can see here, that spins. It also goes up and down. Um, slides up and down the, the shaft so that it expands, contracts, and gives it room to to move. Now, then you have the other bullet styles. People call these things different. They call it the serrated tips, the the split ends, and so on. They're different. Different. It depends on who you're talking to. Now, this one here, you'll notice that there's actually slits in the tip. This allows it to expand, so that when it goes inside, it you can make it tight. Now, what happens over time? This right here is also the, the bullet style split end. Now, there's the argument is which one's better. You got the split ends. Some people cry that these are the better ones. Some people cry that the the banana ones are the better ones. The the difference is is the biggest difference is when they go in and you tap the banana style or the bullet style split ends. After a while, going in and out, sliding in and out, in and out, and it gets warm and it starts to contract and so on. The ends start to come together. Well, you can go in there with a little pick tool, you know, and, and work around real slightly, real easy. You got to be real light on it. The reason why is if you give it too much of a of a spread you end up breaking a piece off kind of like how I did right here one of the pieces broke off so that was kind of annoying having to deal with that now the uh, the other with these ones here the problem with these ones here is they start to get they wear on the shaft move around and they start to have a create a bad contact dirt um, soot what have you uh, carbon builds up I don't know what you want to call it, but anyways, it builds up between this sleeve here and, and the shaft, so you get a bad contact. You'll know because you'll you'll wiggle it around, it'll start working, you throw it out there, you go take off, and all of a sudden it just quits working. Well, so that was annoying, so I went to these, and then I had a couple of ends break off. That was annoying. So I sit there trying to think of a better route to go. What I found out works best for me is the banana plugs, the kind that uh, this style right here. Um, what I did is I took and I slid this this outside collar. I slid it all the way down to the very tip. And then I take and I solder it, put some solder on there. I just touch the tip here, put solder on it, and it melts all around nice and smooth. Don't put any clumps on there, otherwise you have issues. won't fit in the battery right. And that fixed the problem. Now, it then soldered this piece right here, this outer shaft, to the outer collar to the, sh to the shaft, the sleeve to the shaft. Now, when you push all the way down, that still gives it the the chance to when you squeeze it, when you squeeze the sides here, the top will still slide up. So you still have the the place for expansion. Now, what I found out by doing that is these things fit tight. I've never had a problem with them loosen up. Um, I've been doing it for over a year. Uh, no problem with them whatsoever. 
fits in there tight, nice tight. Um, they don't get hot. You know, if, if it's a bad contact, you pull them out after a run. If you want to know if you're getting a good contact, pull them out after a really good run and you fill it. If it's warm, that means you're probably not getting a good t contact right there. But you know what? It's 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 not warm. I mean, it's the same. It'll be the same temperature as the battery, so it's, it doesn't get hot. For that, if the battery is warm and it has a bad contact here, this sucker right here would be hot, but it's not. So that eliminated my use of these. Uh, so therefore, I no longer have the parts that break off. However. Uh, I have battery packs like this that are five millimeter. Well, I'll use those in there for the adapters. So that's how I fixed the banana plug. So overall, my personal opinion are the banana plugs are the are the best and most reliable. If you take you take again, you take the outer sleeve, you slide it all the way down. Of course, you won't be using your fingers because it's going to get hot. You have to use pliers, noodle pliers, or something. And that's why I use I use noodle pliers and I put a little bit of solder on there, solder all the way around, all the way around the very very tip right here, and uh, it works great. Never loosens up. Makes great contact. Now for these, these are the the T style connectors, also known as as Dean plugs. These came back way back in the early. 80 or late 80s early 90s somewhere around there now they have two different versions they have the Dean brand the actual Dean makes them and then they have another off brand that makes them as well they just call them Dean style T connectors now how these work here is they basically slide together so you have you have this this piece of metal here that's kind of bent you see that little piece of metal is bent well that's kind of like a spring it's over here on this side too that's kind of like a spring and here if you look inside of here you have your gold plated contacts here so the spring part the thin metal part this part right here you can see in this picture here that actually slides against the plastic part while you have the actual gold here this gold plate section will slide against the gold plate section here. Well, the knockoff versions, I found they don't have as good and as clean of a connection as an actual Dean's plug. Dean's ones will fit. They fit better. I don't know if it's because they use a better material, better uh, gold, whatever. It's it's a better contact. This I found because after a run, the plug will be warm if, when I use the off-brand ones. If I use a Dean style one, or the actual, not Dean style, but the actual Dean plug, it doesn't get warm, it doesn't get hot. That means that it has a good connection, there's no resistance in there. <clears throat> so if you do get these, I <clears throat> highly recommend that you get the, the actual Deans. Now, what's the difference in price? Well, you can get a pack of the off-brand ones for about 10 bucks for a pack of them, of 10. The actual Dean brand, you'll pay, um, oh, no scratch that. So you'll pay $4, four or five bucks for a pack of 10 of the off-brand. On Dean's, you'll get four. You'll get basically two sets, you get two males, two females for the same price for four or five bucks. So that's the difference in, in the pricing. Huge difference. So, but is it worth the money? Yeah, because you don't have the problems. Another thing, problem I find is that some of these, the off-brand ones, this little piece of metal here, that will be bent out. So when you go to plug it in and you push on it, it'll catch on the side and then bend straight out well that's no good and then you gotta take and desolder your connections and and uh, put a new plug on it so for those that do try to get these and you sometimes might get confused it's gonna be the new the new guys to the hobby you wonder which one's positive which one negative well if you look at the 
the side that you solder to, which is you have the short stubby side here. This is the side that you solder your wires onto. The longer side is the one that goes in the in the female side. If you look on the bottom, right here, you'll see there's a positive. You'll see a little plus sign right there. Um, so that's how you tell that's the one for positive. On the female side, it's going to be right there. You see there's a positive right there. So, anyhow guys, that's my uh, review on these, my comparison on these. If you guys uh, have any questions about these, please leave a comment and I'll respond back. <coughs> if you like my videos, please subscribe to my uh, channel. If you don't like my, my videos, subscribe anyway just so uh, you can find out a new one comes out and you can make fun of me. Alright guys, we'll talk to you later. Take care.